Good morning, everybody. Mark Istook and Mario Ruiz here at the Perot Museum in the shadow of downtown Dallas as we are counting down to today's total eclipse, or we will be in the shadow of the moon as you spend quite a bit of time here today getting folks ready for this big event. Absolutely. And so coverage all day long. We're getting you prepared. We're showing you just all of the signs, things between now and when partial totality starts. So totality 140 to 144 mark. Uh, hopefully we can see uh, there is some cloud cover, high thin cloud cover right now moving in. Well, when you talk about an event like this, a once in a lifetime experience for most people here in North Texas, 9,190 miles. That's the path of the eclipse. It's going to start, oh, somewhere in the middle of the Pacific Ocean and make its way across the United States before it ends in the Atlantic Ocean, not far from Ireland. The peak of the eclipse today, 117 near Nazas, Mexico, about 25 minutes or so before it gets here to North Texas, hoping that we can see it. <laughs> Absolutely. And, you know, we will have that special coverage between 12 to 2 p.m. WFAA plus. Okay, but for the forecast, all eyes on you, Greg. How's it looking? Not looking too bad, Maria. You mentioned the uh, higher clouds. They are beginning to move in right now. Viewing's not too bad. We'll see those high clouds moving in, and depending on how thick those high clouds are as we head toward midday around eclipse time, we'll see in some lower clouds. That's going to be the problem. That's what we're going to watch. Those beginning to move in from the uh, south already. So we're going to call it partly cloudy around uh, eclipse time. Partial eclipse starts at just after noon time, 1223 to be exact, and then 142 is the uh, total eclipse. So we are looking at the high clouds for sure. Just how many low clouds we have around that uh, remains to be seen. We'll have some mid and upper 70s and then as the eclipse winds down heading toward 3 o'clock, we'll insert a slight chance for a few showers, but then those thunderstorms do ramp up much later as we head into the late afternoon and early evening. Now we'll have those temperatures for you right now and generally in the upper 50s around 60 degrees as you head out. So a mild morning out there, but we'll go with partly cloudy skies after 3 o'clock heading toward 4 p.m. and 7 o'clock this evening. We will have some strong potentially severe thunderstorms. We'll see those temperatures warming into the lower 80s, but this will be the first round of strong severe thunderstorms that we're going to be talking about, not just today, but tonight, tomorrow, right on in toward the middle of the week. So stay weather aware as we will have several rounds of a stormy weather to deal with through the middle of the week. Severe storms are going to, going to be likely along with locally heavy rains, and we'll be talking about that potential for some flooding across parts of the area as well before things start to calm down and cool down just a little bit as well for the end of the week.